even people who were Bitcoin miners speculated. The early Bitcoin miners who mined Bitcoin consumed their own electricity, used their local computers, yeah. burnt up their local computers, um, even Ethereum, those people who mined, they speculated that there was going to be some value in it, but it was based upon their work. And true proof of stake, it's still work-based. The point is, is that you speculate. The issue comes down to is what are we told to do with our crypto? This is a mistake, I think, but what, what is the common theme that we're told to do with our crypto? Hold it. Hold it. HODL, whatever you want to yeah. say. <laughs> we're told to hold it. That is sticking it up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's all HODLing is, sticking it up your nose and saying... <laughs> And so there's some thought that if I hold it, which is yeah. an economic action, it's part of the economy. If I hold it, then it sort of um, uh, reduces what's available in the market. And then, of course, those who want it will have to pay more for the limited availability. There's all sorts of things that are going on with these things. Bitcoin has been a hodl currency from day one because you, unless you're not a miner, are a hodler. Mm. It's just what you do. And what have people told? It's going to be a million dollars someday. So it's a constant thing that we're doing. I think that there has to be the balance. And that's, again, bringing it back to you need to have some utility. Tether provides utility. That's a, maybe in some person's opinions a poor example. I think it's a good example. Again, we're not talking about whether we believe them or not. Um, it provides utility. There's something going on with it. You should use your crypto. That's my opinion. I use my crypto for things. Um, I may mine. I may uh, 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 validate. I may do something, but it should be in movement. That's a general economic principle. There should be velocity to something, and that keeps a stability in the market. I mean, that. and I'm going down another. I'm ranting now, so well, I'll I, stop. I, I but. mean, I'm with you on the use. I mean, we're... We're building a house in here in the Republic of New York, and uh, which sounds nuts, but we're doing it. Um, and the builder will will he'll, he'll accept Bitcoin. Um, he so, will, yeah. So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Um, that is awesome. So that's way. yeah. That that uh, and I he won't accept other cryptos. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but, that's okay. But he'll accept Bitcoin, and that that I mean it's good for me. I don't have to trade it out, and. Um, and it's much faster for me to just pay him with that. Um, so I, I'm pretty happy about that. I think that's probably what we should encourage is is just in a general sense, we're talking about Divi and its utility. So yes, Divi should be used for utility. Divi should be hodled to whatever you want to do. You should validate blocks with it too. But it should, in some cases, you should reach out and ask for your retailers, your suppliers, your vendors, your contractors, if they take crypto, yeah. Bitcoin or otherwise, you got to ask. Yeah. If you don't ask, people will not do anything but what the path of least resistance is, which is hand me a check. Yeah. You know, ACH me the, the the balance. Give me your credit card. That's the path of least resistance. It's only a path of least resistance because people are not necessarily always set up to easily do such things. Yeah. But Again, changing from a cash society to a credit card society, which is what the world has done, that's a change because who asked? We asked. We asked as users, do you take diner's card? Right. <laughs> Got to ask.